Hey guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for V and Jean Cook and their friendship dynamic. Okay, so we're gonna put their energy. Um, we will put V on this side and Jean Cook on this side. We'll do three cards per person. For V, please, Spirit. What do we have for V? And his friendship with Jean Cook. What's this one wants to come? Can I get another card? A couple cards, please. Whoa, thank you. All right. What do we have here? We have the Queen of Light, Illumination, Entitlement. Oh no, Enlightenment, sorry. <laughs> and Celebration, number six, which is Restoration, Cooperation, and Harmony. Then we have the, Met the Metal King. Discipline, armor, and boundaries. Nice. Number 10, which is completion, end of cycle, and renewal. The keeper of scales, fairness, and balance, which is number 11, which is a master number. Meaning that I kind of feel like kind of enlightenment has happened here. Figuring out um, the discipline and the and the armor um, kind of detaching and not getting into too much with other people's business, kind of just observing instead of absorbing, right? Um, and having those boundaries, uh, having the boundaries up to say, hey, you know what? You're not going to do that anymore to me and this is where I draw the line. And it's fair and it's balanced and I kind of feel like Find a really good space. Really good space. Ascended Masters. That's that's cool. Cause um, you'll have to check out V and his future wife because uh, that kind of coincides with that actually. Now, what about Jean Cook here? Can I get a couple cards for Jean Cook? Jean Jean Cook. No, don't throw it on the floor. Okay. The Fire Prince, and we have the word, the word Lord. Wow, communication, praise, and dishonesty. Mm. Number seven, reflection, assessment, knowledge, and spiritual. And we have the Fire Prince, optimism, aggression. Number four, which is structure, stability, and manifestations. Let's see what else. One more for Jean Cook, please. That one wants to come out. The Swan Queen, transformation, intuition, and patience. Number four, structure, stability, and manifestations. So four, four here, seven, four, four, and we have six, 10, 11. Hmm. Interesting, and what's together here for the two dynamic here? The Lady of the Gift, Generosity, Receiving, Withholding. So I kind of feel with number two is balance, partnerships, duality. So I kind of feel like they have a pretty good relationship. Um, they probably have had some trials and tribulations here. Uh, maybe gone through a few things, figured out their boundaries, where to draw the line. Uh, when it comes to certain things and they've had to learn to work together in a large dynamic uh, with, uh, I believe, is there seven of them? I can't remember for sure. Um, but being in a, a, a boy band or even if they're individually, um, but getting together to collaborate, uh, collaborate on something that is a group dynamic is not an easy task when you have um, a lot of gifted people, they all want to shine at the same time. They all, you know, they all want to contribute, but have their own strengths in all of it. So that can be a challenge all in its own. Now, I'm trying to think of what cards I have here. Let's do the tarot, tarot here first. Wow, lots to say. Okay, holding on to something, walking away from something, maybe saving some coin to go somewhere, find some happiness, 
A star, a wish fulfillment of some sort. Oh, there it goes on the floor. Dang. King of Cups. Being very loving towards something or someone. Being generous or balancing the scales with... Uh, where'd that go? Mm. With equal give and take. Finding a balance. Adapting to things. What, what else for V, please? What else for V? Hmm, yeah, working together, cooperation. What else? Thank you. And thinking about the future. Maybe even thinking about that other person. Looking into the future, thinking about, I got the world in my hands, what do I want? I see the other one there. Kind of feel like he's missing the significant other. It's on the bottom of the deck. Ah, well, he. In this reading, he is single, so I'm not sure if he still is or not. Where he is in this timeline. Let's look at Jean Cook and get his cards out. Yep. Wow, that was fast. King of Cups. So. It looks like V is already in his reading. Let's see, what else do we have here? Anything else for Jean Cook? I'll take that one as well. Ah, the Emperor. Okay. Watching. Things are starting to come together, I kind of feel. Yeah, they've been manifesting. The death card. Now, the death card does not necessarily mean just death. Could be transformations, leaving past behind, divorce, embracing the new, letting go of old patterns, closing a door so a new one opens. Hmm. Oh, okay. Let's see. King of Swords, Two Cups, and something leaving or coming in. Let's see here. Just give me a second. I just want to see what I'm feeling here with these cards. I'm kind of feeling like um, certain people within the group are um, are watching how everything's coming to fruition. Maybe manifesting what they want um, could be a, a rebirth or wanting to take a break from everything and just get away. Maybe wanting to get away to find that special one. And maybe it looks like three are wanting this. Three people in this group dynamic are wanting to, to maybe go on vacation or take a break or renew themselves in some way, shape or form. I kind of feel like uh, John Cook sees himself as the emperor here. I think that's who that is. Um, v is coming up as the king of cups, wanting to find that happiness, that love. He's, he's taken some of the money he's earned and wants to go somewhere to find his happiness. Maybe to find himself. Wanting to adapt and explore. It's always working. Wanting to find that fulfillment here. This woman who is uh, single here. But I kind of feel like that he doesn't see her yet. 
What do we got here on the bottom of the deck? Yes. See, now there is a new passionate beginning here for, for uh, Jean Cook as well. Or an idea. Let's clarify here. I want to clarify these cards a bit. Okay. I'm just going to shuffle this real quick. I don't want to do too long of a reading. I ended up doing like a whole, almost a whole hour for um, these and his future wife. That was crazy. When I looked over at the clock, it didn't feel like it had been that long. Anyways, let's uh, clarify for uh, V here. What is the Four of Pentacles about? Four of Pentacles? Oh, a victory. Okay, so wanting to definitely do this, and I kind of feel like he's standing his ground to say, look, I need a vacation. I need to get out of here. I need to do something for me. I need to find some happiness here. This is a lot of pressure, what we're doing. I think we should all go on vacation or something. I, I feel that for sure. What is the Seven of Cups? Yeah, choices. Wanting to go places. I kind of feel like it's one of those things of Pick one. I don't care which where we go as long as we go somewhere. <laughs> Where's the Ten of Cups? Maybe the three of them go to a vacation place. Let's see. What's the Ten of Cups? Oh, okay. Yes, to find, it's a choice to find love. Wanting that happiness. Two of Pentacles. I kind of feel like, I know this is um, usually a third party kind of thing, but I kind of feel like it is a third party. The King of Cups, the Emperor, and the King of Swords. Now, I don't know who the King of Swords is, but I kind of feel like this is V and this is Jean Cook. I don't know who this is, but I kind of feel like it's somebody in their group of music. And maybe these two were going to go do something together and this person... Uh, wants to do it too, wants, likes the idea of it, wants to go find their special one, or wants to go on vacation, or feel like they can adapt to doing this, they can make this happen. What's the star? Oh, the star could be a Capricorn, the Earth Angel feeling. With the star, some way connected to the earth. Could be a temptation, I suppose. Um, with the devil, uh, could be just facing fears or a desire to do something. I kind of feel like it's a desire to 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 find that star that's lighting up his life, the one that he wants to settle down with, the love life. What's the King of Cups? Because he is showing up as wanting that love. Here he is again, King of Cups and King of Cups. Wow. I mean what I say, I say what I mean. I want to find my love. I'm in that loving moment. really is wanting love. What's the King of Cups and the King of Cups about? <laughs> what? The star. Looking for that wish fulfillment. And the star is letting go and it's blessings. Accomplishing the goals. Maybe finding some peace and healing. Maybe feeling guided to do something here. What's the Six of Pentacles, wow. Okay, so it's possible just feeling just exhausted. I don't know about the, well, maybe you did get stabbed in the back when it came to a relationship. Maybe that's what this was here, putting up that boundaries, learning a lesson here when it came to his coin. What is the Two of Pentacles? Maybe you got juggled. Strength. 
and courage, taming the beast within. Yeah, I kind of feel with this in the reverse. Somebody might have taken him for some money a bit, a bit ago. Maybe he had a problem with somebody that wanted to be with him for his money. What's the three of coins? High Priestess. Yeah, I kind of feel like um, spirituality is some part of this. Tapping into this intuition, getting it to work. Manifesting. That manifesting with the magician there too. I kind of feel like they might both be kind of spiritual. What is this? Six of Wands. A victory. Yeah, kind of feeling like um, wanting to move forward towards uh, some type of spirituality, something or other. What's this two of wands? Six of pentacles. Balancing the scales. I just kind of feel like they need to go somewhere. They're, they're wanting to go somewhere. I just kind of feel like that with leaving, having choices of where to go, wanting to find that happiness and love, no more being maybe manipulated or juggled, no more temptation, wanting that wish fulfillment, finding that love, somebody that doesn't want them for their money, not getting juggled out of money or feeling, having the courage to maybe speak up about something, tapping into that tu intuition, maybe they weren't listening to, maybe he wasn't listening to his intuition, I think he's balanced out his money situation here though, what's on the bottom of the deck, yeah, the emperor, wow, so I kind of feel like maybe he's maybe leveled up here, He's becoming an emperor himself. He's still showing up as the king of cups here though. I still feel that. Let's look at John Cook here. What's the king of cups here? Yeah, heartache. So I kind of feel like he was still, he's at number 10. So he's gone through it. He's starting to see the light, he's gone through the number 10, he's on number 11, now he's finding a good place, master number is 11, so he, I feel like he might be finding spirituality here, and he's still heartbroken, what's the emperor, yeah, wounded warrior, and single, so they're, looks like they're all, they're all looking for the woman who is single, who is willing to share their pentacles, it isn't about money for them, they're doing well on their own, who's fruitful, knowledgeable, successful, and looking for love. What's the page of, um, when I see this card, I kind of feel like I don't need love, but I want love. And there's a difference. Being good with being on your own independently and knowing who you are being authentic and I kind of feel like this is who this person is knowing who they are they're not codependent they don't need anyone they're good on their own but they would like to find love okay there's a big difference what's the page of swords somebody's watching somebody king of wands and the emperor So the King of Wands and the Emperor here, I kind of feel like um, John Cook is the Emperor here and this King of Wands, there could be four people that are looking at doing this vacation as well. And it could be that they're just watching to see where they should go or watching for a sign to see where they should go for a vacation. I kind of feel vacation again and I felt that in my last reading. Yeah, being generous, equal give and take, 
building their pentacles, balancing out. I'm still seeing the balancing here. All this balancing, and that makes me think spiritually. Ma magician, yeah. Maybe they heard about a place. Manifested something here. What's the death? What's the death part? What's ending here? Yeah, somebody's walking away from somebody. So there might have been an offer. Um, there was some healing and walking away from this. It could have been a financial offer or some kind of Hmm. Could have been a contract or somebody like that, maybe an agent or a um, scout that is looking for talent or I don't know. Something happens here. Something ends between something here. Some type of offer financially though. And there's some healing and walking away from it or getting away from it what what is this king of swords here what's that about temperance angel grounded earth angel some of these people in this group are very spiritual self-love, having a progression here to go somewhere, knows the road. What's the two of cups here? What's that about? King of Swords. Okay, so I kind of feel like it might be this King of Swords that is walking away from this, uh, putting an end to something, because it, it's coming up as the King of Swords here. And uh, I kind of feel like it might have been somebody uh, that he was with. Might have been an offer that ended, offered again, was healing, walked away from it. Maybe saw them as a temperance angel. But then when it comes back to the Two of Cups again, there's the Death card again and then walking away again with the Eight of Wands. So maybe just realizing something wasn't working. Maybe they were all ready to go somewhere now. There's four of them now with the King of Wands, the Emperor, the King of Cups, and the King of Swords. What's the Eight of Wands? I wonder if the whole group goes. Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands about? Where are they going? Eight of Wands? Yeah. Going somewhere to give an offer instead, or... That's the slowest night of the deck there. Slow and steady wins the race. Maybe wanting to give a proposal to somebody, but wanting to take the time to find the right person. Yeah, there's the Wheel of Fortune. So, it's a matter of um, timing. The Wheel of Fortune. It's sort of like uh, fate or destiny. A surprise. Maybe somebody gives them something as a um, gift or a surprise. Something that they are all not expecting, but knowing they want to get away. I kind of, I still feel like this looks like the world to me and going on vacation. Yeah, a ton of cups again. So just wanting to find that passion and happiness. And they all seem to want to do that. Find their lucky lady. Let's look. What can you tell us? Oh, hello, stork. Transformation, change, renew, restless. Yeah, I kind of felt that. Arrival, departure. Okay, they're going somewhere. <laughs> Pregnancy, what? Oh my God, birth, slender, tall. 
I kind of feel like, yeah, they're going somewhere. Arrival, departure. That, to me, is um, traveling. Okay, what, what else can you tell me? What's the stork about? Is that like a vacation? Where are they going? What are they doing? Oh, yeah, see? They are looking for the one. Didn't I say that? A diamond ring proposal. Wow, next level. Marriage, union. They are look. They're going somewhere to see if they can't find the one. What is this? Oh, children. <laughs> they are stubborn. What? Do what you love. Exploration. Time to play. See, they are going out of work right now, and they. It's like they're going on a vacation somewhere. They're going somewhere. Just to get away. And um, maybe it's something spiritual. I still feel it's spiritual. What is this? Heart and home. Happiness, security, love, kindness, family, belonging, bliss. Maybe this is somebody's uh, family that lives at a certain destination. Or has um, a home away from home. Like a... Um, like a place to go for vacations was this youth yeah they just want to go and have some fun yes breaking free rebellious just having that wanting to get away having some fun together let's see what else do we have here garden public venues society crowds audience playing the field outdoors yeah so they want to go somewhere um where maybe there isn't so many people like i kind of feel like um not like a spa but maybe um a spiritual place like it's um I kind of felt the same feeling. Maybe it's because it's V's energy, I'm not sure. But I'm still feeling this vacation. Um, and that's where they're going to find... Uh, some of these guys are going to find their girl. Yeah, passion, break free. Oh yeah, sexual energy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's see. Wanting to get married, I mean, with the ring and stuff, maybe it's time. Uh-oh, deception, jealousy, backstabbing, seduction, sexuality, counterproductive. I kind of feeling like that with this king of swords, with this person. He leaves and he, and he offers, he heals, he leaves, <laughs> he offers and he leaves and it's like a um, never-ending cycle another offer and it just keeps going back around it's a karmic situation it's just it's deceptive and I kind of feel like this wheel of fortune could very well be turning the tables on him by having the surprise getaway to go somewhere get some out of this here Whoever this King of Swords is. It's somebody in their group, I feel. Okay, what do we have? Firefly. Illumination. Yeah, I kind of feel like... Okay. Chemistry. Magical. Self-discovery. Soul spark. Yes, somewhere they're going that is going to let them see within themselves. I kind of feel that spirituality thing going on. The sun, yes, it, it's going to make them very happy. Divine masculine, there you go. Victory, happy, warm, somewhere warm. It's going to be somewhere warm that they end up going. What's this? Ah, <laughs> fresh start, new beginnings. Uh-huh, <laughs> purity, new phase, birth of a child. Oh boy. <laughs> Well, it could lead to something. Could lead to a marriage. Hopefully it's not this part here where it's a deception of trying to bring this person back. Oh yeah, see whoever they find at this place is going to be very supportive, um, friendly, uh, kind of like a soulmate. 
faithful companion. The, these guys are all doing pretty good with each other. I think they, if they can get along in a group dynamic, they can, they can just about do anything. I feel like they have a certain loyalty to each other. Although I'm sure they have their disagreements like anybody else. But what's really at stake is their money if they can't get it together. So I kind of feel like they have to be very supportive of each other. Like they're siblings, like they're brothers, in other words. Helping each other. Being a faithful companion to one another. Getting each other through things. Having that friendship. Being a child again. Feeling like a child again. Wow, some of these guys have really leveled up. They're all kings though. That that to me tells me they're done some healing work. They've, they've been doing um, some life lessons they've been through where they've learned things. And I feel like wherever they end up going for this vacation, um, arrival and departure time. So they're going somewhere. There's somewhere they're going and they're, there's a group of them going. Four, four out of the seven are going. They could all be going. There is the number seven here. So they all could be going. But only certain ones are showing up here where they've been through something. Or watching. I think these two are watching what's going on with his relationship and how things are going that way. Maybe even helping V with his whatever he went through. It may not be common knowledge. Could be something with family, could be something with other friends, friend group, friend dynamic could be uh, somebody he was dating but I kind of feel like they're all restless they want to go and do something they need a vacation they need something to do um, just to break free for a while from the stress and everything else what are they going to be doing on this vacation can you tell me is there a purpose to this oh they're on the right path it says here, um, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. So whatever they're doing, they're going down the right. Oh, they get to choose. Look at that. Heart's desire. Angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting them as they their dreams become a reality. So whatever they're dreaming about or talking about is coming into fruition. If they're saying, look, I want to go and find my significant other. I feel like I'm going to find them on my vacation spot. We're going. This is what we're meant to do. Let's go do this. What do you guys think? We need a break. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, maybe there's going to be... Yeah, they're supporting each other. Life purpose fully supports them. So, somebody could write a book about this whole, like an autobiography or, or just really good with their words. Maybe it's this... Maybe if they're songwriters anyway... Um, maybe they're really good at their words and maybe end up doing a book while they were gone on vacation. Light and love. This is like divine healing light and love to this world. So it's a purpose of bringing divine healing light and love to this world. And I kind of feel that's how they do it is through their songs. I kind of feel like with this author, I kind of feel like it's more like songwriting. And maybe it has to do with the divine, about spirituality, all in all, about their songs. I've never listened to them, so I don't know. Um, it seems people like it that I don't know a lot about them, because then my cards come up and speak for themselves. Hmm... What else? Um, it looks like the dynamic between the group is they're ready for a vacation. They're all getting along fairly decent. They're trying to be supportive of each other. 
they're just looking for happiness, trying to find something else at this time to kind of feel like a kid again or feel happy again where it's not so much on them, so much pressure. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. I looked and it's already 35 minutes. Um, I don't know if there's too much I can really ask about it. Uh, are they all good friends right now? Everybody getting along? Mm, they're not going to tell me. Within a few days, <laughs> the situation or event in question will develop or unfold within a matter of days. So there's that seven again, seven, seven again. So I kind of feel like they may not tell me too much. I can ask again, um, what's the friendship dynamic like for these guys? Happening soon, the situation or event question will develop and unfold very soon. All right, spirit. <laughs> What can I tell you? Within a few weeks. <laughs> so they're not going to tell me. All right. So I have to abide by that. I can't keep pushing. Um, I could get in trouble for asking and asking and asking when I've already got an answer. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you next time. All right. Later.